in this world, you can be, oh God, you can be harmed, you can be hurt, you can be accused or jailed anytime, anytime, for any reason, or invented reason, or don't have to have reason. Even if you have money and you just feel sorry for your own countrymen far away, so you send some of your disciples to go there with all the money you have to rescue them because they are in disaster and all that. And the government still can catch those disciples, accuse them of uh, doing whatever, I don't know what, and have to sign some paper saying that they did this, did that, wrong. You know, whatever the government officials in that area want you to admit, you have to, even if it's wrong or not, they say you'll be shot right away, right here, right in front of them. So they had to sign, otherwise they stay in jail or be shot right away the government make them sign fake things that they did not do and even took some money from that and the rest of money I don't know anymore. Even if you do all the good things for the world, governments still can go and raid your initiation venue and one country or take computers away from another disciple in another country and then say that you want to give people money and use a COVID-19 as an excuse so that you can seduce people coming to you to be your followers. Oh my God, I wish it was that easy. I wish that it was so easy just to give people money and well, then they will come to be your disciples. Oh, up to now, I know of only one who is a nun and had a non-profit organization to help the poor. And I gave some money to that organization. And that's the only one that I know of who came to get initiation after that. But she also doesn't practice very well either. She's not often present. She went elsewhere, look for other monks <laughs> in Burma or Cambodia, whatever, yeah? I'm telling you, it's not that easy. The wise precaution for individuals or for any country. If you don't know who is good and who is truly bad, you should do your homework first. Check out that person before you slander her or him to avoid creating bad karma for yourself. You have enough bad karma already because otherwise you wouldn't have done that. Because bad karma drags you down to a lower level, and that will bring you to a lower world, a more suffering world even than Earth, and maybe even to hell. And any country that treats a good person badly, accuses it wrongly, for example, or slanders that person who is good, good to that country and does no harm whatsoever, then that's very bad karma. It creates bad karma for the country, and then the country can be vulnerable to attack even from other countries. So please be careful what you say, what you write, and what you even think. May God enlighten you enough to understand who is good for you, who is good for your country. You don't have to do anything for that person even, especially since that person asks for nothing. They just take care of situations and people in need. So you should know that person is good. No need to worry about what she's doing that for. What for? You can see very well why she does that or he did that when they get nothing in return and ask for nothing. In all our award letters, for me, for example, we write in advance that these examples, just to make other people follow and maybe do good things for others, just like you do, and it's absolutely unconditional. We will not contact you. We will not accept anything from you afterward. And if you want us to air on our television, we will do that. If not, we will not. And we will not contact you or ask you for anything at all after the award. So it is absolutely clear that we do it just for the friendship 
from a human to human or for humanity together at large to help the world to be a more livable place. We do not want any profit from it. I give money wherever I give. It's all from my heart. There are many temples I help. Only one has been mentioned. Of the many monks I have, only one has been mentioned because I had to go through Supreme Master TV concerned department for taking care of that. The rest before have never been on TV. And it's not just a few tens of thousands, it's hundreds of thousands. Many, many, could be up to millions, but nobody ever knew before. We didn't have Supreme Master TV or we, nobody goes there to see such things. Anyway, we do it all in the name of God, by the grace of God, and by the mercies of all the masters from all the loving hearts, my pure loving heart, pure love only, I want it, nothing. I mean, <laughs> truly, if I want the money and fame, I should be searching in all the rich countries, you know, and trying to contact all the famous or uh, powerful people. No, I never did that. Anytime anything to do with famous people or politicians, they are the ones who contacted me through somebody. I never knew them before. That is the truth, and you all know that. It would be easy if you could recruit people by giving money or awards. No, it's not like that. I also give awards to many big and famous people. They never became my disciples. Yeah. Sometimes they write thanking letters, sometimes not even. I'm happy that some of the worthy ones received it all their life. As a politician, they have been sacrificing many things to run their country, to help their people in their best interest, to the best of their ability that they can. At least, if they're worthy, at least they have something to hold in their hands, to know that I appreciate it. You know, like somebody appreciates them. Somebody knows when they work hard with their pure intention and heart. At least they have a little comfort before they die, you know, when they retire already, for example. They would think about that. Or even during their duty time, they remember the thing they received from me with all the praise and encouragement. And they would do better for the world, for their country, for their people. Well, that's the only intention. I give a lot of words and Financial help to many animal people, centers, caretakers. I didn't see any animal people come and be my disciple. <laughs> Initiation. <laughs> One time, when we first came to my land in Costa Rica, we were going to give initiation. So there was a stack of papers about the rules to keep for initiation, you know, like be vegan, don't drink, don't take drugs, don't steal, and don't kill. There was a stack of papers printed like that to be given to the new initiates. I went to the center in Costa Rica. I have a little land there. At that time, I didn't have a lot of money, but we have a piece of land there, and it's still there. So they put the papers in the truck, an open truck, and carry it back to the center. I sit in another truck or another car, if there was a car. <laughs> Maybe covered with bullet holes like in uh, California, you know, before. Never mind. My life is like big movies. Even with many, many movies, you can never make enough if I tell you everything. Now, when we went back to the center with the truck open like that, with the stack of papers, for initiation, one cow person came to the truck and took out one piece of paper from the stack. And the stack, they clip it together. It's not like they left it open to fly in the wind while they were driving. And the cow person somehow managed to get one of the initiation instruction papers and run away with it. The whole center at that time had a lot of luscious green grass, new plants and flowers. But he went straight to the truck, took the initiation paper in his mouth and ran away with it. <laughs> we all laugh afterward. We wonder what he wanted to do with it. At that time, uh, 
Huang Honghai was still alive. He was working for the Taiwanese embassy in Costa Rica. And he told everybody about that also. And people who didn't see it also laugh a lot, happy for the cow person would wonder. Yeah, I'm sure the cow person will be blessed by his intention and pure heart to be liberated. God will not neglect that. God will see that. And all the saints, sages, and Buddhas will see the cow person really wanted to do something that numerous humans doesn't want to, doesn't even think about it or even look down upon and slander it, slander the method that I had to go through many mountains and rivers and almost die many times in the Himalayas to get and bring it home free for everybody. Not only they don't take it, they slander, they gossip, they also obstruct other people, so they don't even think about coming to get this initiation for liberation. <laughs> 